Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we're making the easiest shrimp fried rice. It takes about 10 minutes to make, and it is beginner friendly. I will show you a few tips and tricks to ensure it comes out better than takeout. Here is one cup of shrimp. It's peeled and deveined. I left the tail on for presentation. You can remove it if you want. Season it with some salt and some white pepper. You can do black if you want. Add a drizzle of oil and mix it well. Shrimp doesn't take too long to marinate, so just set it aside as we are prepping the rice. Here are two cups of cooked rice. Season it with one tablespoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and one tablespoon of sambal chili sauce. This is optional. You don't have to use it if you don't eat spicy food. The benefit of seasoning your rice before cooking is that you can take your time to get everything ready to avoid rummaging around when the heat is on. A lot of people think you can only make fluffy fried rice with day-old rice. This recipe is an exception. Yes, you can use freshly cooked rice. Even if it is a little bit wet and mushy, it doesn't matter. You see me seasoning the rice with quite a lot of liquid sauce. So the rice is pretty wet already. Okay, I'm going to crack the egg directly into the rice and mix well. That is the key to separate the grains from each other and prevent them from sticking to the bottom of the wok. I know it looks kind of like a mess right now. Just trust me and you will be surprised later. All right, set it aside. We're gonna turn the heat to high and heat the wok until smoking hot. Drizzle in some cooking oil and swirl it around. Add the shrimp. Stir for just a minute. Once the shrimp changes color, add some diced onion and garlic. Keep stirring until fragrant. Add about two third cups of frozen vegetables straight from the bag without defrosting. You can use fresh veggies if you want, but it is tedious to dice them. There is a benefit of using frozen vegetables. It drops down the temperature of the wok so you don't overcook your shrimp. Once the vegetables are soft, which will just take less than two minutes, you can remove everything to the side. Turn the heat back on medium. You don't need the heat on high for this recipe, otherwise you will burn the egg. Add one more drizzle of oil to the wok, along with the rice. Stir for a few minutes. It feels gluey in the beginning. As the egg starts solidifying, the rice becomes less and less sticky. The grains will separate naturally. Look how fluffy the rice is now. You can see the rice grains are jumping and dancing in the wok. That's the sign of perfectly cooked fried rice. We already seasoned everything before cooking, so we're pretty much done. Introduce the shrimp and the vegetables back into the wok. Elevate the flavor with some diced scallions. As for the presentation, just fill a bowl with the fried rice and cover with a plate. Then flip. I love to pair it with a couple of slices of lime. A little bit of acid lightens up the taste. I can't wait to try it. Every grain is evenly wrapped with the rice and the seasoning, so flavorful and eggy. The shrimp is perfectly cooked, very tender. This is so healthy and easy to make. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable link is in the description. You can check it out later. Thank you for watching. This video is sponsored by Soup Up Recipes Carbon Steel Wok. This is the wok that I'm selling and I am proud to recommend it to you as I have been using it on my channel for years. 
It is lightweight, it responds to heat changes quickly and evenly. It can also sustain super high temperature without damage, perfect for wok cooking. If you like Chinese food and you want to learn how to make it at home better than takeout, you definitely need one of these as it is the most basic cookware in Chinese cuisine. If you want to buy it, the link is in the description. Go check it out. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.